So I want to bring up another story on a serious note, y'all. I want, I want, I want to bring up something a little bit, a little, little bit different, baby. Mm-hmm. And while people are listening, you know the whole thing out there with 50-50. You know, everybody's saying, one dude said um, he paid his wife $250,000 a year, I guess, just to be his wife. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's been a big debate out there about 50-50, should we go 50-50? Well, I want to tell a story from our vault. Story. Okay. So this is story okay. time. Um, many of you don't know that I was on the show, The Biggest Loser. Uh, some of you know, uh, back in 2006 or seven, it was. And um, I remember at that time, they told us when I got selected for the show, you remember, mm-hmm. um, I couldn't work. Because mm-hmm. they told us that they wanted us to work out twice a day. We had to eat right, working out and exercise, getting my health back was my job. And I remember I was 400 and some pounds. When I went to Biggest Lose, I wasn't quite 400, but I had been at 400. Mm-hmm. And I remember I signed, I remember I came back and I told you I got selected. Well, you were with me mm-hmm. when they called me. And I remember that we, I remember that I didn't have a job and I had to call, I was speaking around the country mm-hmm. and I had to call um, the people I had contracted with. I had to call them and tell them, that I couldn't speak. I remember that. But I had to, I had to turn away $50,000 worth of booked business, mm-hmm. money I couldn't get. And I'll never forget it when I didn't have a job. I didn't know. And you said to me, you said, don't worry about it. We're good. We'll, I'll work. And you worked two jobs. Mm-hmm. And it hurt me. And it hurt me, but I knew my health was more important. Um. But, but then, then ultimately, Palmer, my boy Palmer, let me work at his group home. Before mm-hmm. then, though, right. months before then, I remember one day, and this is what I want to tell people. They got this whole discussion about 50-50. I remember one day you had gotten paid from the, your job. And it wasn't like it was a job that made a whole bunch of money, but mm-hmm. every dollar counted. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was sitting at my desk, and I was probably contemplating how I was going to pay the light bill. And you just sat your check, your money, down, you had gotten the check cash. Mm-hmm. You sat the money down on my desk and went to the room. And I sat there and watched you walk away. And I and I almost I, I really did share some tears. I was like, wow. And my point for bringing that up was this: you did that for four or five months mm-hmm. straight. You brought the money and you didn't say one word. You didn't say, fool, you gotta be 50-50. You was paying the rent, but now you ain't. What's good? And I remember that because when I hear the 50-50 thing, I think about this. Here's where people got it wrong. Marriage and relationships are about partnership. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you ain't got but 10%, and the other person got to give 90. Sometimes it's 80-20. But what we've reduced relationships to are just the financial transaction within Mm -hmm. the relationship. Um, and I think we've worked out because we never really looked at it like that. Right. And I just want to say, I thank you for that. Aww. I thank you for being that woman that says, you know what? If I got to give 80 and you can give me 20, then that's enough. And if it's 90, 10, and I remember when your father passed and I was like, she, I got to get, I got to give a hundred. Give a hundred. <laughs> yes. I was like, cause she doesn't have anything. What's your take on that whole 50-50 thing? Um, I don't believe in 50-50. Like, I just don't because of what you just said. You know, there are times when I don't have 50 to give. You know, there's sometimes I come in the house and I, I don't have anything. There's sometimes when I come in and you are totally drained and, you know, you don't have anything. And so I, I feel like um, that 50 50 thing, it puts a couple in a situation where when you make it about the 50-50, everything is about 50-50, emotions, sex, you know, not just finances. Mm -hmm. And so for us, um, that's how we've always worked. You know, that was, you um, have always been much better with money than me. Um, So for me to try to run the house the way that you did, uh, that's like a kid, uh, Noah driving a car. It just wasn't going to work. You know, we ended up in a ditch somewhere. Mm-hmm. 
um, and I respected you as the man of this house. You are my leader. And so um, I did not want you to feel like less than a man for having to come to me for money. Mm. And so I gave you every penny from hair, every penny from I forgot, my I forgot other job. Doing hair yeah, you, well, you said two jobs. Yeah. So I gave you every single penny. And when there was something left over, you know, we 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 split it. Yeah. You know, that's what we did. And so, um, and that was just so that we could both have. It wasn't just splitting to be 50-50. It was so that you could have and I could have. And so um that. I think that pushed our relationship. Like it was just a, a deeper level of trust. Right. You know, what about, what did you say to the woman out there? Cause there are people on the internet, you know, who's saying the man should pay it all. Man should pay hundred percent of everything. Now let me say this in our relationship. Um, and we, we've always been honest mm -hmm. um, for the most part, you know, I pay, I pay all the bills except that you net net pay, puts money in our investment. Mm -hmm. And um, I pay the rest of the bill, but that's just, just just now, I mean, I, and I've been doing that for a while, but 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 I don't believe it has to be that way. I don't believe I believe that's just the arrangement we have uh -huh. now. But we ain't always had that no, arrangement. We haven't always. What had about that the arrangement. person who says, "Who I ain't gonna get with no man unless he pay all the bills, unless he does that"? What would you say to her? Um, I would say, listen, sit down, have a conversation. Why Why do you feel like a man has to pay all your bills? Right. Like that. That's the bigger question. Why? Cause you sit, cause you got what? Well, why should a man have to pay for everything? Like it does me good when I can come in the house and put money on the table. You know, let me sell a couple of books and bring that money in here. Like that makes me feel good. It makes me feel great. I don't like to see you hustling by yourself. You know, mm. this is not just a one pony show. It's two ponies in this show. Yeah. And so I don't, I just, I just feel like, um, for me, just me personally, mm -hmm. it makes me feel, um, yeah. great to be able to just put money into the house. Elena, uh, Elena Harris says marriage is sharing, caring, coupling our efforts together in good times and tough times. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I agree with that. Sabrina said her daddy paid all the bills. Yeah. But yeah, but you know I what though? I don't nowadays I don't think a man should pay all the bills. I don't. I personally don't. I personally think that you have to work out what works for you. Women are making more money than ever. And a lot of women are making more money than mm -hmm, men. Mm -hmm. I think you have to do what works for your household. And some women come in with a preconceived notion because mama, daddy paid all the bills. Well, mama stayed at home, mama didn't necessarily work. And so now the dynamics are, and what happens to a lot of people that they want some of the modern dating. Mm -hmm. Okay. They want to be old school mm -hmm. some of the way. Mm -hmm. And then modern dating some mm -hmm. of the way. Mm -hmm. Can't have it both ways. I want you to pay the bills, but you can't tell me nothing. Right. Yeah. I want to, and I'm going to pop off if you say something else. You know, so that was my point. That was story time. I just wanted to tell people that Tina story. said, you know, I think a man should want to, but not all men are able to. Absolutely. In, in some cases. No, yeah. I, I agree with that. And a man, I, I believe a man should provide and protect his family. But that providing does not mean I pay all the bills. See, we're negating. We're not looking at what providing is. Providing security. Ooh, for mental yeah. security, mm -hmm. providing emotional security, yes. providing protection for my family, providing a way that my kids can do things I've not done, being at their games. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All of that is providing. Uh -huh. We just break that shit down to just money. Patricia said, my dad paid all the bills. It went away. Okay. Paid all the bills, but my mother didn't work. Right. She took care of the home and was a housewife. And that's old school. Yeah. That's old school traditional relationships. And so what I say is... But you know, you, do you remember the commercial? Um, this is when I remember things shifting. You can bring on the bacon, and I can bring on the bacon, fry it up in the pan, and never let you forget you a man. We said, look at here. I can, I can work. I can come home and cook. And I can make you feel good. Well, you need to start doing that. No, now. I'm talking about the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you need to start doing that. Okay. So I got something for you. Okay. Okay. I have something for you. Oh, go ahead. 
Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Because next week, Valentine's will be over. So I'm going to give you a little something just to let you know how I love you. Oh. It's red, too, on the outside. But happy Valentine's Day. Go ahead. What you got for me? Okay. Okay. Good. That's you didn't good. say thank you. I did thank you. You didn't. You oh. like I wanted you to act different. I was trying to figure out what you were trying to do. I just want to give you a piece of candy. It's Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, thank you, like, baby. Well, it's not Valentine's Day, but we'll miss Valentine's <laughs> it's a Day. It's real early, so I want yeah, to we'll see. miss Valentine's Day because it's next Wednesday, I think, and then yeah, we'll come is. back on Thursday. And so I just wanted okay. to say something. 